Hi everyone, wherever you're gathered, whatever your week's looking like, I do hope that you're having a week that is full of thankfulness and uh, gratitude for God's grace to you. We have much to be thankful for at the moment, especially with the borders for New South Wales opening. I'm mindful that many of you are planning or even over the border at the moment uh, when you're watching this. So I keep praying uh, for Victoria and give thanks for uh, the borders being open in New South Wales. Uh, I do hope that you're able to have a meal together to go out somewhere as a community group this week or next week. There's a school holiday break. There are no questions that Peter's put together for us, but please do make use of that time to spend time together as a Jesus-shaped community as well. Uh, also, pray for someone in your group, each of you share, someone that does not yet know who Jesus is. Pray for opportunities to share the gospel with them, uh, to tell them about the kindness and grace of God towards them in Jesus as well. So why don't you go around the group, share that with one another. How can you pray for someone who doesn't yet know Jesus that you know? Because that fits really well with what we talked about on Sunday, just go on, Exodus chapter 18. And we looked at two thoughts from that chapter. The first half of that, uh, I entitled it, Get Talking. The second half, Get Organized. It's a really strange chapter in lots of ways because it comes a bit left of field. Uh, we have Jethro coming back in the first half to drop off Moses' family, who's been left in Midian while the uh, Egyptian exodus has happened. Now they're, they're reunited. And then notice a few things in here. One, Moses is delighted to tell Jethro, the Midianite priest, all that God has done. Doesn't miss out any details, goes through the nitty gritty, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, and then notice Jethro's response. He says, now I know there is no other God like Yahweh God. And then he offers sacrifices and he gives praise and worth and worship to that God. This is the first instance of evangelism and conversion we see in such a detailed way in the Old Testament. It's a wonderful story. Get talking was a thing. And so that's why we want to pray for those who don't yet know Jesus, that we too would be able to share the good news of Jesus with them. Secondly, the next part is organization delegation bit. It's really left of field, I think. You kind of think, where's it going? Why is it there? Some would see it just as some leadership principles. But I think as we saw on Sunday, we look deeper in that. We, we look before and after what's taken place. Firstly, Moses is a priest and priests mediate before others God. And we see him doing that in sharing the good news with Jethro. In chapter 19, Israel takes on that role as a priestly nation wanting to mediate God before the people as well. And then here... I called it get organized as Jethro gives Moses some good advice, some logistical common sense to organize the people of God into a group of people so they can live out God's law. So what I think is going on here is not so much this great principle that we see of delegation. In fact, I think that's just God's common grace that we organize ourselves, that we're creative, that we, uh, some people are wired like that. Clearly Jethro was and Moses wasn't. What we see is that in order to be the priestly nation, in order to evangelize the right way, they need to be organized as the people of God. And at the end of that, Jethro goes home, but also the people, when they're organized well, go home satisfied, understanding God more. And so what we want to do as a church is we want to be organized too, for the purpose of mission, for the purpose of knowing God's law more. So there's the Exodus 18 recap. Um, the challenge for us was that we too will keep the cross of Jesus front and center, that in our organization, that in what we say, we will get talking, get organized for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the nations, for the sake of those in Golden Grove, right where I'm standing now actually, in Golden Grove, so that people can hear the wonderful saving kindness of Jesus. So I want to read Exodus 18, work through it together as a group, no questions this week, uh, but I hope that's a good recap of what we talked about on Sunday. See you next week for Exodus 19 and 20.